I got every single global and souls RNG and put them in a tier list for me to rank. But let's not waste any time. Let's get into the video. Now, the first aura we have is Glitch. Now, I know a Glitch isn't technically a global, but hey, because of how hard it is to get, we're gonna rank it either way. And with over 18 million accounts on this game, only 1,400 people own this aura. Now, the Glitch aura visualizing it is honestly not bad at all. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with the aura. It's honestly a pretty clean aura. My only complaint really is the audio they use. I feel like they can go back to like the old audios they use, but other than that, it's honestly good. So for me, the Glitch aura is a good aura. Now, for the actual lowest aura in this list, we got Chromatic Genesis. The craziest part is that after 14 million rolls, I still do not have this aura. Now, for being the lowest global, it does have a really cool ability, and visualize just looks really nice. So for me, it's a good aura, and I hope I get it soon. Next, we got Radiant. Now, I do own this aura, but honestly, it's really not that good of an aura. And this is from someone who has four Radiants, not to mention I should be having five, but I deleted one of them. And for me, it's honestly a pretty bad aura, but for only 100 million, you can't really expect much. I mean, yeah, you have to expect much, but like, compared to the other auras that are like above 100 million, yeah, you can't really expect it to compete with them. So to cut us some slack, I will just put it in the mid tier. The next aura we have in the list is Overture. Now, I don't actually have this aura, but I've been in accounts with this aura. And it does have an ability where it freezes any player in place. And the aura itself is honestly just really nice. So in my opinion, it's gonna go to the good category. Next aura we got is Symphony. Now, the thing about this aura is that even though I don't have it, it's one of the auras I really want. Now, I didn't make an era A sneak peek video where Symphony was leaked. But now that it's actually out, I just really want this aura. So for the amazing category, Symphony will be the first one there. Next, we got Impeach. Now, the thing about Impeach, though, is that I just got it last week. Oh. Wait, what are you using rune of everything? Oh, oh, oh impeach! Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh. impeach! No, nice. that's huge. No, he what just wrote impeach. Now, to me, impeach is honestly just an average order. It's good, and that's really about it. The aura itself is really good to wear, and the ability also is really cool. So I'll also put impeach in good. The next aura we have is oppression. Now, if you guys haven't seen it, I did make a full video of me using oppression in a video. Now, this aura was actually so cool to put on, and I'm not even trying to be biased. No matter how rare it is, it honestly generally just is a really cool aura. So oppression will be the second aura to go in an amazing tier. Next, we have Archangel. Now, when I first started in Era 6, this was the main aura I wanted. Until this day, I still have not gotten it. Archangel, in general, is just such a cool aura, and with the ability to, I just... To this day, I still want it so badly. But it's not a really, really crazy aura like compared to other auras in this list. So I'm just gonna put it at a good tier. Next, we got Shard Surfer, which was a limited aura in Arrow 8.5. Now, even though it is a limited aura, I'm not gonna lie when I say it's kind of mid. Yes, it is a limited aura, but when you really look at the aura closely, you see there's really not much happening with the aura. And honestly, I think they could have added way more to this aura. So this might make you mad, but in my opinion, it's a mid tier. Next, we have Overture History. Now, a fun fact about this aura is that not only was it my first global I ever got, but it was also my second global I got. Oh, oh, no way. I got another one. I got another one. I got So as you can see, I have a lot of history with this aura. Now, that was three months ago, and I haven't gotten another Overture history since, which is good because that aura is honestly terrible, bro. And the fact that I have two Overture histories means I lost the 50-50 to Overture two times, and just green and white do not go good with this aura. Now, you could argue that Overture history's ability does last way longer than, like, the normal Overture, but, like, that still doesn't excuse how bad this aura, like, looks. So even though this was my first and second ever global, Overture history is gonna be the first in the bad tier. Next, we got Bloodlust. Now, this was actually the first global I ever I forgot what AFK. Just like Overture History, this aura is honestly just not that good. Just taking a look at it, in my opinion, it really just is not that good. Now, I'm not gonna compare this to Overture History, but I'm also not gonna say it's like a really good aura or not even a good aura in general. So, it's not a bad aura, but it's definitely gonna go on mid. Now, we got Atlas. Honestly, Atlas is such a good aura. The way it's just like a huge globe is actually amazing. But there are a lot of people who glaze this aura. I do wish they had an ability, but hey, it's a good aura nonetheless. Next, we have Abyssal Hunter. Now, Abyssal Hunter is one of the auras where I just really, really want. And it was actually the first first global i saw someone wear in game and for good reason too this is one of the original globals they made and till this day it's still one of the best auras they've come up with and whenever i talk to anyone they always tell me how abyssal hunter is their dream aura or their favorite aura they have so abyssal hunter is an easy amazing tier now we got i'm peach i'm peach is the second and last limited aura in this list now i'm peach was first released in era 6 for the april fools event now surprisingly to me most people do not like this aura but for me i like it. it's funny it's definitely not an amazing aura but because it is better than shard surfer in my opinion it's gonna go on a good tier next we got 
uh, gargantua now the thing about gargantua is that it was cool when i first had it for like the first week and now i never use this aura and for a 430 million aura i just feel like it's not that good now you can make the argument that it's a 43 million through a non-breakthrough but in my opinion it's just not a good aura some of you might argue with the decision but in my opinion gargantua was a mid tier i just realized i messed up the tier list but hey i'm already too far into it now we got matrix overdrive in my opinion this is the second best aura they made in era 9 and i know for a fact that this was originally a whitelisted aura but now it's officially in the game and you could tell how much effort they really put into this aura so for no one's surprise it's an amazing tier for me now we got apostolus now i have been on an account with this aura and it's honestly a pretty cool aura i don't even know what it is about this aura but for some reason it just feels like the most detailed aura they made so far in the game even though it is a really cool aura compared to the other amazing tiers i'm gonna have to put it in a good tier now we got ruined now i'm just gonna say it right now that this should not be a 500 million aura now i'm not saying it's a horrible aura i'm not trying to say that at all but it's definitely not a good one 500 million you'd expect way more there's even like auras in the good category that are better than this aura like i said it's not a horrible aura but it's definitely not close to a good one so i'm just gonna put ruins in a mid tier now we got sovereign now the funny part about this aura is that my friend yeti actually got this aura the second day it was out and what was even funnier is my reaction to actually seeing it oh wait yeah you know i got glitch actually yeah, you have two glitches it's not even fair two <laughs> hey but you know what i have that you know well, what do you have now person or something <laughs> Where did you get that? What the hell? Where did you get that? Now, even though Sovereign is a really, really cool aura that I'm probably never gonna get because 750 million is not my type of luck. But I can't really see myself comparing Sovereign to like Oppression or Matrix Overdrive or anything over like that. But it is a really, really, really cool aura. So because of that, I'm gonna put it at good. But just let so you know, it's a really high good. Now we got the Aegis aura. Now, in my opinion, this is the best aura that Souls RNG has released during Era 9. Now, I did make a video using this aura that got 19,000 views. Now, the aura in general is just so crazy. You could tell they put so much effort into this and the ability where you shoot a whole death laser that you could even control is even crazier to think about honestly i hardly doubt i'm ever gonna get this but if i ever get this it would just be a whole miracle for me and because of that i'm just gonna have to put an amazing tier next we have memory which is only obtainable using an oblivion potion now memory definitely looks like a really really nice aura and even though this aura visually does look really appealing it's still not close to being amazing in my opinion but nonetheless it's still a really really clean aura i was close to putting in an amazing tier but i don't think it's there yet so i'm gonna put it in a good tier now for the final aura we have in this list we have oblivion now i have not been in an account with oblivion aura yet but i have made a video with someone who has it now i'm not even trying to be biased or anything but this aura in general is actually so clean and it's actually like one of the best auras they definitely like have reworked and what's funny is that i didn't even know it had an ability that where you just roar and it does like a bunch of damage around an area by the way remember this is not based on how rare an aura is this is how based on just how good it looks and me it looks amazing to me and here's my tier this guy just remember in the end of the day this is my opinion you can disagree you can also leave your opinions in the comments if you want to just know hey all love and respect but anyways thanks for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace